Good morning, everybody. We have some exciting news here on the farm today, and I'm going to let Brenda tell you about that a little bit later in the video. But today it is September 1st, so that means I guess it's uh, coming into the fall season. It's so great to have four seasons that we can enjoy, and the fall season is definitely one of my um, best seasons. Um, but uh, there are some disadvantage to fall seasons. Um, we still have some hay to cut and to dry into to bales. And it is very difficult during the fall to make hay. Although it's a very fun time to make hay too. You, sometimes you get those days that are in the you know mid 70s and just incredibly nice. And uh, hopefully we'll get some of those. So I, we actually cut a little bit of hay yesterday. I'll show you uh, just a little clip of that and what we did yesterday. going to be hitching on the car and heading up into the woods but uh, the other day I was in here logging and I actually broke the pole on my cart um, sometimes these poles will last for almost two years and other times something happens and they break a lot sooner this particular pole as you can see it's broken right here and that was basically 100% my fault. I was hitched onto a tree, and I wish I had the video going at the time, but I was hitched onto a tree, and we, we'd come upon this smaller tree, and I had to kind of turn the hitch away from that tree. And when I did, I wasn't watching ahead of the horses so much as behind, and we ran the pole right into a tree pretty hard, hard enough to snap it. And so I was able to get that hitch to the out to the landing in the woods where my wagon is but it was I was all done for the day I, it wasn't safe to use it anymore and I just kind of babied my way out here but in the process of coming out I was able to come across this hard hack pole right here now in my last video I talked quite a bit about the hard hack and the and the purpose of it in for poles and it was actually the video that I showed fixing the shafts up for a single horse. So if you missed that one, you can go back and see that. So anyways, this is a pole I'm gonna use. It has quite a crook at the end here where I have the spot for my neck yoke where the branch is, which I always try to find, but it's got quite a crook. But I think as I lift it up here, I can't lift up like that, it spins. And I'm not sure if I can explain this to you. Maybe if I could put the camera down, you can see it better. I prefer having the notch vertical you know up and down but when i pick this up it tends to go horizontal so it's not going to hitch onto the neck yoke quite the way i'd like but i'm sure it's going to work just fine so i will go about getting this job done and i'll try to explain what i'm doing as i do it so here i pull the old pole pole out of the cart and just lay it on the ground. I forgot my tape measure, so I was just measuring this length of it with my feet so I can get the same length for the other tongue. But then I ended up just bringing it over and putting it next to each other and just cutting it the same length as the first one, or at least as close as I could get. The pole is a little bit bigger than the pipe that it has to slide into, so I have to take my chainsaw and just kind of take the bark off and smooth it up and get it down a little bit smaller in size so that it will hopefully slide right into the, into the pipe that's on the cart. Just so you know, I didn't get it right the very first time. It took several times and several tries to get it small enough to slide into the pipe where it should. Thank you. 
It's a little bit hard when you're making a new pole to get it exactly the same length. I prefer having my hooks on a link so that the hook is pointing, stays straight and not having an odd length um, chain length to go onto. But uh, this time I, I'm on my second length and I just cannot reach it. So I'm going to have to go down to the third length, which means the hooks will be twisted a little bit on all the tugs. But this allows it to, to be nice and tight. And as you have seen me do before, I release the pole strap so that I can hitch that last link easier. And then I pull the pole strap tight. And that just works so good with these D-ring harnesses to take the weight off their collar and put more of it onto their backs. I usually show my horses hitching up really well, and generally they do hitch up really well, but today they are not, so I just wanted to show you and let you know that there's definitely days and times where my horses don't always work as good as they should. I'm a little curious what your thoughts are on a steel pole or a wooden pole on your carts and wagons and whatnot. And uh, if you've got some ideas and, and comments on that, please put them in the comments below and let me know what you prefer, the steel or a wooden one.
Okay, we get that load out. And uh, the tongue pole held up quite well for the horses. And we have a pretty good load on it. Must be, I'm guessing, a good thousand feet on there. And uh, so we'll uh, head down and get some lunch and uh, come back this afternoon for another load. I just got to quick head that little bit of hay that I caught. I didn't cut a lot, so it won't take but a minute. I'll probably just use the tractor on that because my cart is still down on my Amish neighbors. He's been borrowing that for quite some time, although I got to go pick it up. That's the cart with the motor on it that I use to Ted with the horses. So anyways, let's, uh, let's uh, go now and see what Brenda has to say about what's going on in our lives. Hi everybody. So uh, my big news is that I have decided to resign from my job as a registered nurse at our local hospital. I've worked there for quite a few years uh, in the ambulatory surgery department and I, it's been on my heart for the last couple of years, kind of had a longing for home and wishing I could be here more, and found myself many times um, missing key times when I wish I was home, and um, just want to be able to help Jim more with his uh, things going on. YouTube has made us much, much busier. It's been harder to keep up with everything. I guess the big question is, um, are we making enough money with YouTube that it would replace my job, the, my salary? Uh, that, that would be a no, but um, it certainly does help. And we're the kind of people that many times would rather learn how to live with less than, um, I don't know, just to do the standard things that um, maybe a lot of society does. It's fun for sometimes to be frugal and so I guess we're taking that route a little bit and hoping that it works out. Um, I'm just really excited to be able to be home every day and um, just be able to share life. I want to get more into filming, editing, and um, maybe pursuing the blog that I'd started a while back and getting back into that again. And um, I think that's pretty much it. We had a really fun weekend with our grandkids and we were and children at a pond in Vermont and it was so nice to be able to spend that time with them and while we were there they gave me a cake for my early retirement but they called it quitting. So I have... No, I think they called it quitter. Quit? Yeah, they called me a quitter. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm not really loving that. I'm choosing to pursue something different. I will definitely be working probably more than I ever have. And, uh, but I love to do things here on the farm and I know it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm really looking forward to doing something new. And I'm really looking forward to working her. But he's not my, I'm not his hired man. I'm sure I would be reminded of that quite a bit. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If any of you have uh, made big choices in your life, changed careers or anything like that, and you have uh, advice for me, I would appreciate it. Uh, and uh, tell me your the pros and cons and if, if you felt that it was a good change for you. Thanks for watching Working Horses with Jim today. Have a good day.